at the top of the page, we are going to continue evaluating compositions, but if you notice, we're not substituting a number. It has the f of g with an x. This can be tricky because when you're substituting an x into an expression that has x in it, it doesn't really seem like you need to do much. So my suggestion is to change it to another letter. Okay? So let's change it to an A. And then at the end, you can go back and change that letter to the X. It just makes it easier to understand what we're doing. So the first thing we need to do, do we do F of A first or do we do G of A? We read la or right to left, so yes, we're going to do G of A first, and then, then take that answer and plug it into the F function. So G of A, that's this function right here, is just A plus 2. That's the answer. You just substitute the A for the X. Now I have to do F for a composition. We take the answer we just got and substitute it into the second function. So F of A plus 2, here's the F function, means we do 6 times the X, which is now our A plus 2 minus 1. So we're going to do some operations of polynomials. So 6 times A, 6A, 6 times 2, 12, bring down the 1. So final answer is 6a plus 11. But because it had an x there, we just need to finish our answer by replacing the a with the x. Number 2. If f and g are two functions defined by f of x equals 3x plus 5, so that's a linear function, and then g of x equals x squared plus 1, that's a quadratic function, find g of f of x. So let's do the same thing. Replace it with an A, and we have to do F of A first. So I'm going to do that over here. F of A is 3A plus 5. We just replace the X with the A. And now I have to do G of that. So G of 3A plus 5. So everything that's an F Substituting this now for the X right here, this would be 3A plus 5 squared plus 1. Okay. So I have to square that. I don't just square the 3a, I don't just square the 5, we have to expand and FOIL. So go ahead and do that and then we'll finish by adding the 1. So what is the square of 3a plus 5? So the square of 3a plus 5, 3a times 3a is 9a squared. Outside I'm going to write it as one term. 3a times 5 is 15a. But you should get the same product for the inside. 5 times 3a is also 15a. So 15a and 15a is 30a. 5 times 5 is 25, and then we need to add the 1. So to write my final answer, I'm going to go back and put the x in. So it's 9x squared plus 30x plus 26. Operations with functions. So our four basic operations in math are adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. So that's what we're going to do with our functions. So it's going back to the operations with polynomials at the beginning of the year, which is good review for your final. So the sum means we're going to add the two functions. Difference, subtract, um, product, multiply, and quotient is divide. And remember, this cannot be zero or else you'll have an undefined fraction. Okay, so let's take a look at the first one, number three. So f of x is a quadratic. Uh, g of x is also a quadratic. Find each function. So the expression that represents the sum, all you do is take the, because this is the same as f of x plus g of x. So we're going to make a substitution. For the f of x, we're going to plug in that trinomial, so it's going to be 4x squared minus 5x plus 8, and I add the g function, which is 2x squared plus 3x minus 6. So we actually substitute the trinomial in for the function. So it's just adding two trinomials, which is combining like terms. 4x squared and 2x squared is 6x squared, negative 5x plus 3x is a negative 2x, and a positive 8 plus a negative 6 is a positive 2. Does it matter with addition if I change the order? So if I put this trinomial first, the 2x squared, 
No. It does matter, though, with subtraction. So you have to pay close attention to the order in which you subtract. So this one wants me to subtract, take the g of x function, and subtract from that the f of x function. So this has to be first. So now it's 2x squared plus 3x minus 6 minus 4x squared minus 5x plus 8. Distribute the negative, <laughs> combine like terms. So that'll change that to a negative 4x squared, change that to a positive 5x, change that to a negative 8. So now positive 2x squared minus 4x squared is a negative 2x squared. A positive 3x, a positive 5x is a positive 8x, and negative 6 minus 8 is negative 14. So number four, we have a quadratic function, a linear function. We're going to find each function or resulting algebraic expression. So we're going to take f of x and multiply it by g of x. But remember, multiplication is commutative. So you could do g of x times f of x. The order doesn't matter. So the way in which you multiply doesn't matter. You'll get the same answer. I like to put the binomial out front of the trinomial when I'm multiplying. So I like to set it up as x minus 4 times x squared plus x minus 2. So first multiply the trinomial by x and then by a negative 4. So distributing the x all the way through, that's just going to increase the exponents. So I'm going to have x cubed plus x squared minus 2x. And as I distribute the second term, you can write it in one long line, left to right, but I like to stack my like terms so I can just combine straight down. So negative 4 times x squared is negative 4x squared. Negative 4 times x is negative 4x. And negative 4 times a negative 2 is a positive 8. Now I can combine straight down. Nothing to combine with the x cubed. A positive 1 minus 4 is a negative 3. Negative 2, negative 4 is negative 6. And then plus 8. And then in part B, it's just g of x times itself. So you could write this as g of x times g of x, or g of x squared. So x minus 4 times x minus 4. This is a special trinomial. It's a perfect squared trinomial. So the middle should be the double. The last term should be the product of negative 4. Because x times x is x squared. Outside and inside are negative 4, negative 4, which is the double, negative 8. Last is the product, um, 4 times 4, 16. You don't cancel out the middle um, and last term, the outer and inner, rather, because it's the same binomial. If it was x plus 4 times x minus 2, which are conjugates, I mean a 4, rather, x plus 4 times x minus 4, if they're conjugates, then you only need to do the first and the last. But when they're the same, you have to distribute out. Number five, so we're going to divide polynomials. So we're going to take the f of x function, which is x squared minus 25. And we're going to divide it by the g of x function, which is x plus 5. What are the steps to dividing algebraic fractions? Summer. Yep. What is that breakdown word, though? Um, Begins with an F. Factor. I thought, yep, factor. So this is x plus 5. I thought you were. x plus 5 times x minus 5 over x plus 5. And then once you factor, you cancel. This wants you to state its domain. So maybe before you cancel, you want to state the domain. You need to look at the denominator. The denominator can't be 0. So our domain is x not equal to negative 5, good. So that's the domain. And then the answer, cancel, cancel, is x minus 5. Two more. Next one's multiple choice. If f of x is x plus 1, so that's linear, and then g of x is the square root function, 1 minus x, what is the domain? So let's actually write it out so it looks like x plus 1 over the square root of 1 minus x. 
it's a fraction, so we don't want the denominator to be zero. Okay, so I'm just focused here. But not only do I not want it to be zero, I want it to be, Tyler? Yeah, greater than zero because you want it to be positive. If you go to the calculator, so one way to do this is just on the calculator, and you want to look at your x and y values, and where are you going to see some of these errors? So if you look at the answers, less than 1. What's a number less than 1? Zero. 0. What's 1 minus 0? Square root of 1 is 1. That's okay, right? So would you see an error for zero? No. no. Let's set up algebraic. Let me get on the table based on our answer. As Hunter said, we want this 1 minus x to be greater than zero. We want it to be positive. So then add the x over. We have 1 is greater than x, or if you want the x on the left, x is less than 1. So that's our domain. So for anything greater than 1, such as... 2, 3, and even what other number would we see an error for that I should have put? It has to be our domain is x less than 1. So would I see an error for 1 as well? Yeah. Yes, because it's not equal to. So less than 1 is our domain. Last one, evaluate each function operation for the functions below. Um, or actually, it's not the last one. There's some next page, right? Okay, so to do this one, um, what's different now, I think, based on the rest, I've lost track, yes, is now there's a number there, okay? So instead of having the x there, there's a number. So what we do here is we do g of 2 and subtract f of 2. So you might, ha or you have to find g of 2 first. So off to the side, g of 2 the g function is 1 minus x, 1 minus 2 is negative 1. So I replace the g of 2 with negative 1. Now I'm going to find f of 2. So f of 2 equals, that's this function here, 4 divided by 2 minus 4. So 4, 2 minus 4 is negative 2, 4 divided by negative 2 is negative 2. So I need to subtract, don't forget that minus, but then I'm going to subtract a negative, which turns into a positive. So negative 1 plus 2 is 1. That says part A, but I copied the functions at the top of the next page. So now we're going to take h of 5 and divide it by g of 5. So go ahead and plug the 5 into the h function and g function. So this means h of 5 divided by g of 5. This means f of 4 plus g of 4. And this is g of 3 times h of 3. So h of 5 is the square root of 5 minus 4, which is 1. 5 minus 4 is 1. The square root of 1 is 1. So h of 5 is 1, and then we're going to divide it by g of 5, which is 1 minus 5, which is a negative 4. So that's just negative 1 fourth. You can give me the decimal. I would accept negative 0.25, but that's our final answer. The next one, c, f of 4. Well, f of 4 is a fraction. You always have to watch out for the fractions because what happens here with f? of 4. We have 4 over 4 minus 4, which is 0. What's 4 minus 0? Undefined. So that means you can't do any operation with that fraction, and this means there's going to be no solution. Can't do, calculator won't even let you do it if you try, if you can't remember. Um, can't do operations with undefined fractions. G of 3 g of 3 times h of 3. So g of 3 is equal to 1 minus 3, negative 2, times h of 3, square root of 3 minus 4, which is the square root of negative 1. And what is the square root of negative 1? i. 
So negative 2 times i is negative 2i. And last but number 8, find uh, f plus g of negative 1. So plug in negative 1 to both, and then we'll add our answers. So 3 times negative 1 is negative 3 plus 4 is 1. And then what's negative 1 cubed minus 1? Negative 1 cubed is negative 1. So then negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. Now I need to add those two answers. So f of negative 1 plus g of negative 1 means 1 plus a negative 2, which is a negative 1.